AITA for suggesting my cousin should invest in therapy for their daughter instead of lavish trips. Hey, everyone, here's the situation. My cousin, who I'll call John, and his wife, Palm, have a daughter named Irene. She's seven years old, and to be honest, she's been raised without much discipline. She's been given everything she's ever wanted since the day she was born. Every year, when she opens her gifts during the holidays, she throws a tantrum if something she asked for isn't there. Instead of explaining how fortunate she is to get gifts at all, especially considering many kids around the world aren't as lucky, her parents just open up an app and order the missing items right away. Irene also has a lot of issues at school. There isn't a day when her teacher doesn't call John and Palm to report that she's hurt another student. Some parents have even considered escalating the situation because of her behavior. Just yesterday, we were at a family birthday party. Irene was being really difficult, but the thing that really pushed me over the edge was when I went into my room. I found my bed covered in food because Irene had taken some from the living room and smeared it on my bedding. She also threw some of the special sand from the cat's litter box on top of it. When I saw the mess, I lost my cool. This wasn't the first time something like this happened. Last Christmas, Irene took a bell from my closet and flushed it down the toilet. We had to pay 150 euros to get it fixed. The problem is, her parents don't do anything about her behavior. They just say, Irene, that's not nice, and then go back to whatever they're doing, usually eating or scrolling on their phones. They never explain to her why what she's doing is wrong. So, when I saw the mess in my room, I marched into the living room and told John and Palm, your daughter just smeared milk, orange juice, ham, omelet, and sand all over my bed. You guys need to clean it up right now. I can't believe you're spending thousands of dollars on trips to places like Indonesia, New York, and Disneyland Paris, but you're not investing in therapy for Irene. She clearly needs help. They got upset and started shouting, saying I'm the second youngest in the family and that my opinion doesn't count. I responded, your daughter hasn't been invited to any birthday parties this year. Her classmates are afraid of her, and she doesn't act like a typical seven-year-old. She hardly even talks. She really needs help. John works as a software engineer and earns over $3,000 a month, which is a lot in our country. Palm works for the government in the education sector. They live very comfortably, but it bothers me that they don't address their daughter's needs because they're too focused on taking picture-perfect family vacations. So, AITA for what I said to them? By the way, I ended up cleaning the sheets myself. As usual, they didn't lift a finger.